We have this notion that our drinking water supply is limitless on the Great Lakes. We have all this fresh water. We can treat out any contaminant, but we're slowly learning that that is not the case. I do worry that we're facing an environmental and health crisis, especially for people who are younger, and sort of an unprecedented health crisis because of that disconnect with the water. It's the foundation of our health. It's the foundation of our culture, really, here in Canada. It's the foundation of so much of what we do and what we love. just how much water you use, especially when you're doing it in your garage and you just have the hose kind of going all day. It's a lot of water. The truth is, you know, beer is all about good ingredients and good ingredients, whether that's water, grain, or barley, it comes from nature. The one thing we knew when we started this company is we wanted to do 1% for the planet. It was Four of us started this company. It was one of the few things we all agreed on the very first day. We started looking for a charity and we knew it had to be water. in the sense that more people expect water to be clean than ever before. The number of people going to beaches in Ontario doubled in a 10-year period. People are now demanding that the Toronto Harbour be clean. They're no longer just assuming that pollution is a way of life. But it's going to take a lot to give people the tools and the knowledge that they need to protect these resources. Are we the first plane of people that asked you to look at the sewage treatment plant? People in the Great Lakes, we're so privileged, 20% of the world's surface fresh water is right here. And so we're so blessed, we've tended to take it for granted. Right. And now we're starting to see the um, consequences of that. We see what happened in Toledo with shutting down the drinking water for half a million people. We're seeing the loss of the fisheries, we're seeing closed beaches. And so our job now is to remind people before it's too late of you know, what that water body means to our community. Right. Right. And I don't think it's all that difficult because there's so many things to enjoy from clean water, including... No, everyone has a, a story and experience, right? Totally. I mean, you're making beer out of it, which is fantastic. We need it for all our food. We need it culturally. These roots run deep, and I think um, it's not that much to ask people to respect the Great Lakes and understand just that they are the Rocky Mountains for us who live here in Toronto. Yeah, that's a great way to put it. That's a great way to put it.